Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our ERP system on Azure case study. In this case study, we will be going to talk about how customer is using Azure infrastructure as services or Azure data factory to host the ERP system on the Azure. This is the agenda of this case study. So we will be going to have a we will be going to know more about the customer what are the challenges they were having what are the benefits what is the solution design is how, uh, what is the solution overview uh, what are the uh, new benefits or what are the uh, extra benefits or uh, they are getting like faster or better expansions with with uh, running the ERP on Azure and at the end what are the output they got once they moved completely on the Azure with the uh, Azure Data Factory and the infrastructure as a services, right? So let's quickly jump into the customer introduction and understand about this customer. So this customer has been empowering people to do it themselves for almost 100 years as the helpful place and standing for the uh, principle of services, convinces and qualities customer may located location uh, location help people to maintain and preserve their homes with the personal services it's hard to come by a combine a big box store as the DIY market has grown continues to grow and expand beyond the uh, the US boundaries or US borders the customer have customer has in involved among with it to meet the demand in more than 60 country worldwide because of it the expansion the customer need a better way of onboarding and connect new franchises with the industry leading standard practices operation and the supply network to set up a store for success and deliver it a award-winning brand to market faster and more easily so this customer is uh, a DY uh, market uh, this is basically seal the DIY, DIY uh, products. So they are basically in the US, but now they uh, they have further uh, uh, expansion has been started, and they have more than uh, uh, more than 60 country worldwide presence. Uh, they are having their store around the uh, around these 60 countries, and they need a faster way of doing the onboarding of the. Uh, they, these, these branches into their ARP system because they are running on on premise which required a lot of time and a lot of efforts and the procurement is slow so that's the reason they want to run their ERP system on the Azure so these are the some of the challenges they are having time to growth issue with the operations mergers and acquisitions uh, old legacy system and strategic road mapping so these are the challenges they were having uh, with the with the application or the ERP when it's running on the on-premise. So these are the benefit they get. Uh, they are getting when they move into the uh, Azure cloud. They are getting enhanced business reporting, better customer services, cost saving, better data and cloud security, better business process improvements. Right. So the cost saving they are doing it by uh, basically having the reserve instances, improve vendor relation management. Right. They were having uh, the better data security by having the dedicated security resources, avoiding installation of the malicious software, data disturbed it uh, across the multiple services. So these are the benefits basically they are getting once they have started uh, using the ERP on the Azure. So let's talk about the solutions. So through its Azure based architecture and enterprise resource planning systems, which is uh, ERP, Customer can now provide a new franchises within uh, with the complete end-to-end -end digital solution to get their store up running and up and running. When onboarding a new franchisee, the company spins up a new instance of this franchisee head office and the franchisee store solution in Azure, which consists of ERP and the point of sale functionality necessary to support the new franchise new franchisee business operations like inventory management, accounting, as well as the necessary technical integration. This ERP solution run on the uh, Windows Server 
uh, and uh, Azure Virtual Machines with its data requirement handled by Azure Data Factory and the Azure uh, SQL database. Uh, this customer monitors uh, monitor the platform he uh, health using the Azure Monitor and help securing its environment by using the application gateway operating as a uh, as a firewall and they conduct the update through Azure Update Management. Uh, finally, it to help ensure the data resiliency, the solution rely on the Azure Backup and Disaster Recovery solution. So they are having a tons of uh, virtual machine. They are having the Azure Data Factory for warehouse. They are having the Azure SQL for backend databases, and then they use the Azure Monitor to do the monitoring and the application gateway for layer seven security and the update management to do the regular update of the system and the Azure Backup and Disaster Recovery for doing the backup and the PCDR. So these are the things they are using it uh, as a simple and straightforward solution to run their ERP on the Azure. So this is how uh, their uh, uh, solution look like. So they have the uh, the Azure Data Factory service deployed into the uh, Azure Data Factory managed virtual network and they were having the Azure uh, SQL databases and then they were having the backend VM which is basically connecting with the Azure SQL server which is the uh, which is basically a, a real server for the ERP application and then from there all the data is basically coming into the Azure Data Factory for the data warehouse then the all the further connectivity uh, with the all the past services from the internet has been blocked uh, by using the azure uh, the talk, uh, azure uh, firewall services on the virtual machines and then all of the integration uh, between the vm sql databases or, uh, or the data warehouse is basically happening through the private endpoints only so all the communication is basically secure because it's uh, all the all the communication is basically is doing by within the network by using the microsoft backbone network better and faster expansion right so to enhance the support for emerging global DIY DIY market this customer shifted the expansion approach over the past 10 years for supplying international uh, wholesaler to more complete license franchise model it, it help customer deliver a flexible scalable system that's key franchisee that tool and the practice they need to successfully represent the value this customer realized it could uh, deliver a better and faster solution with cloud setting up a fr franchises with the digital asset they need they needed had historically mint building maintain the data centers however procure, procuring equipment during the recent supply chain crunch is basically let them a significant time loss not to mention the challenge of navigating local logistic handles is also the problem for this customer this customer determined the cloud was the best way for it to gain the consistency of deploying of the deployments connectivity reliability and standard standardizations is needed to support for its new franchisee model what are the outcome customer get so this company Azure infrastructure provide great control over the digital asset and more monitor more agencies to monitor and maintain the environment which brings greater consistency to its expanding global brand for a IT standpoint the customer is able to standardize and monitor the franchise the digital infrastructure allow for a better resource allocation and uh, far fewer headaches uh, which it come to keep system running customer small IT team is very good at identifying and resolving the problem and then talking through those issues for the continuously improvement the, the control customer get with the Azure monitor monitor to drive the consistency of their staff and improve how customer system works and how they just operate is it's completely amazing right so this is all about uh, this, cus uh, this case study. I hope you like this case study. If you like, please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming case studies. And feel free to reach us if you have any questions. Thank you.